how did you meet Mary in the first century? Um, I knew about her for quite some time because I knew the family, um, knew her brother and her sister, and uh, her her brother and sister weren't always warm with me <laughs> um, because they were quite confronted by my confrontation of the Jew, Jewish system of things, uh, particularly the Pharisaical system. Um, and so they weren't always feelings of warmth there, but they lived in a town called Bethany, um, which was near Jerusalem. But uh, when Mary, Mary had a terrible upbringing in life, um, and uh, she was abused, sexually abused as a child in the first century. And she's, um, I still feel a lot of things mm. about that. Uh, I took most of those memories, so I'm still feeling a bit of those things. Uh, myself. Um, then uh, she was raped a number of times be by, before she was 14. She was a very pretty girl and a lot of boys in the town that she grew up in uh, finished up picking on her in that way and raping her and things like that. And In the end her family sort of treated her like she was damaged goods and she would never be married. So what they did is they sent her away. And uh, she eventually made it she followed the Jordan. Um, she had some very lonely times and terrible times, and she followed the Jordan, getting hurt and, and by men mostly <laughs> all the way up. And she eventually found a group of women who had been hurt by men in the in the town of Magdala, and that's where she resided. She eventually became quite a good. Um, um, and I don't want to say too much about her life actually at this point. Um, in fact, I won't say too much about her life at this point because it's important that she works through a lot of these emotions and tells you herself. But I will say how I met her. Um, I was Shortly after I'd begun my ministry, I went to Magdala and uh, we were greeted. We were greeted out the front of the town because um, by then it was known that I had healed some people in other towns. And um, we were greeted in front of town by a group of women that she had organised to greet us. And they they looked after us in, in terms of you know meals and all those kind of things. By this stage, she had quite a lot of money uh, because she had a benefactor who who she was living with die, and he he provided lots of money. He loved her and provided lots of money to her, so she had lots of money to spend on things like that. So she actually had by this stage organised for these women who were harmed to be looked after, and they all greeted us, and that's where I met her. Yeah, so I knew straight away she was my soulmate. Uh, she didn't know I was. Um, so.